Hello, you all. I am back with Proverbs 17 and 18. This is Brandy. I'm reading it out of the Message Bible. I have been instructed by the Lord to read Proverbs 17 and 18 out of the Message Bible, which was a grand shocker to me. Hallelujah. Uh, it's one of the more contemporary uh, uh, versions of the Bible. And when I heard that, I was like, what, Lord, are you serious? And he's very serious. So here we go. Hallelujah. So we're in Proverbs 17, verse 1. It says, if I can get to it, a meal of bread and water. Hallelujah. In contented peace. A bread of meal and water in contented peace is better than a banquet spiced with quarrels. My God. A wise servant takes charge of an unruly child and is honored as one of the family. A a silver in a crucible and gold in a pan. So our lives are refined by God. Father God, I thank you for refining my life. Evil people relish malice conversations. The ears of liars itch for dirty gossip. Whoever mocks poor people insults their creator with a capital C. Gloating over misfortune is a punishable uh, uh, crime. Gloating over someone's misfortune is a punishable crime. Old people are distinguished by grandchildren. Hallelujah. Children take pride in their parents. We don't, hallelujah, expect uh eloquence from fools. Do not expect eloquence from fools, nor do we expect lies from our leaders. Hallelujah. When you find a, a leader that lies, he's not from God. In other words, receiving a gift is like getting a rare gemstone. Any way you look at it, you see beauty refracted overlook an offense and bond a friendship fasten on to a, a slight and a, a good friend and a good friend is by goodbye a quiet rebuke to a person of good sense does more hallelujah than a whack on the head of a fool a quiet rebuke meaning you ain't blasting it off a uh, 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 quiet rebuke to a person of good sense that has good moral character, that has an understanding, their soul is sober, their character is sober, their emotions are sober, sober, good sense. Verse 11 it says, criminals out look, looking, criminals out looking for nothing but trouble won't have to wait long. They'll meet it coming and going. Better to meet a grizzly robbed of her cubs than a fool hell bent on folly it's better to find a grizzly hallelujah run up on a grizzly hallelujah that's lost her children than to be around a fool hell bent on doing something stupid those who return evil for good will meet their own evil return the start of a quarrel is like a leak in a dam so stop it before it bursts whitewashing bad people and throwing mud on good people here it is again y'all god is on this thing he's talking about something here if we pay attention whitewashing bad behavior smearing uh, hallelujah overlooking bad behavior shifting under uh, uh, bad behavior under the rug then pouring mud Hallelujah, pouring dirt, hallelujah, on people that do well, that people that do good, people that have right standing. God can't stand it. What's this? Question mark. What's this? Fools out shopping for wisdom. <laughs> they wouldn't recognize it if <laughs> they wouldn't recognize it if they saw it. Friends love through all kinds of weather. Come on. Glory to God. Friends, real friends love you 
through all kinds of weather. And families, families stick together in all kinds of trouble. Hallelujah. Real family, family that's a hallelujah, founded in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't, don't separate over a, a possession. Hallelujah. They don't separate. Hallelujah. They don't let possession uh, 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 guide them and direct them on how they're going to treat each other. No, they don't do that. It's stupid to try to get something for nothing or run up a huge bill you can never pay. The person who courts sin marries trouble. The person who dates sin, the person who's in a relationship with sin, they marry, eventually marry trouble. A, build a wall, invite a burglar, build a wall up. Oh God, invite a burglar. A bad motive cannot achieve a good end. Double talk brings you double trouble. Having a fool for a child is misery. It's no fun being the parent of adult. Verse 22, a cheerful disposition is good for your health. Gloom and doom leaves the bones tired. The wicked take bribes under the table. They show nothing but contempt for justice. The wicked take bribes under the table. They show nothing but contempt for the right thing to do. The perceptive find wisdom in their own front yard. Glory to God. Fools, on the other hand, look for it everywhere, but right here. Fools look for wisdom everywhere, but where, where it is in God. Hmm. They look for it in the world. They look for it in a, in a, in a school book. Nothing wrong with school. They look for it in... in, in and, and things that are not grounded and focused and founded in God. Sure, a surely, a surely stupid child is sheer pain to, the, to a father, a bitter pill for a mother to swallow. Verse 26, Proverbs 17, Message Bible. It's wrong to penalize good behavior. It's wrong. I'm going to say that again to penalize somebody that's doing the right thing or make good citizens pay for the crimes of others. Verse 27, the one who knows much says little. An understanding person remains calm. Even dunces, even the dunce, <laughs> even a dunce who keeps quiet are thought to be wise as long as they keep their mouth shut they're smart Proverbs 18 loners who care only of themselves spit on common good fools care nothing for thoughtful discourse all they do is run off at the mouth when wickedness arrives Shame not far behind. When wickedness, when wickedness arises, shame is not far behind it. Contempt for life is contemptible. Many words rush along like rivers and floods, but deep wisdom flows from artisan springs. It's not right to go easy on the guilty or, calm, or come down hard on the innocent. It's not easy. It's not right to go easy on the, on the guilty and come down hard on the innocent. The words of a fool starts fights. The words of a fool starts fights. Do him a favor and gag him. Fools are undone by their big mouths. Their souls are crushed by their words. Listening to gossip, listening to gossip, partaking in gossip. It's like eating cheap candy. Do you really want junk like that in your belly? S slack habits and sloppy work 
Slack habits and sloppy work are as bad as vandalism. God's name is a place of protection. Good people can run there and be safe. Glory to God. The rich think their wealth protects them. They imagine themselves safe behind it. Pride first, then the crash. But humility is precursor, is a precursor of honor. Answering before listening is both stupid and rude. Answering before listening is both stupid and rude. Message Bible of Proverbs 18, verse 13. A healthy spirit conquers adversity. A healthy person, hallelujah, sound mind, hallelujah, hallelujah, self-esteem, confidence in Jesus Christ conquers adversity. But what can you do when the spirit is crushed? Wise men and women are always learning, always listening for fresh insight. A gift gets attention. It buys the attention, hallelujah, of eminent people. The first speech in a court case is always convincing until the cross-examination starts. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may have to draw straws when faced with a tough decision. Do a favor and win a friend forever. Nothing can untie that bond. You may have to draw straws when faced with a tough decision. Do a favor and win a friend forever. Do a favor. Do something nice for some, to somebody every once in a while. Hallelujah. Words satisfy the mind as much as fruit does the stomach. Come on. Blessed words. I'm going to put blessed on there. Encouraging words. God uh, sent words. God foundationed words. Hallelujah. Satisfy the mind as much as, the, as fruit does the stomach. Good talk is as gratifying as a good harvest. Words, excuse me, hallelujah. Words kill and words can give life. They're either poison or fruit, you choose. Find a good spouse, here we go. Find a good spouse and find a good life. And even more, the favor of God. The poor speak. In soft supplications, the rich bark out answers. Oh God, the last verse of Proverbs 18, Message Bible, it says, Friends come and, go, and friends go, but a true friend sticks by like family. Lord, find me some true friends. Hallelujah. That stick by like the closest family. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Guys, I love you. I'm going to get off of this thing. I'll be back later on with 19 and 20. I pray all is well in your lives. Read the Bible for yourself. This has been Proverbs out of the Message Bible. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.